Have you wondered how good a friendship between two completely different people with different backgrounds can be? If you have or haven't, like in my case, the Intouchables movie answer you with an awkward relation between a quadriplegic wealthy middle-aged man and a poor unemployed young man coming from poor suburbs that quickly blossoms as they bring out the best of each other in one of the greatest drama comedy movies the French cinema has ever made. The movie is based on a real story between a quadriplegic rich Frenchman and a poor Algerian immigrant who was replaced in the movie by a black Senegalese played by Omar Sy and I don't know if that was done on purpose or was done to support the black community in a time that some of the French community hasn't fully accepted the black people. The movie talked about Dries, a poor unemployed person with a criminal record who was selected by Philippe, a wealthy quadriplegic aristocrat among many competent nominees to be his caregiver. Philippe saw in Dries the funny, reckless, rebellious soul that he lacks in himself. And even though the first days were awkward for both of them, we saw how they both started to change each other. From Philippe, who changed Dries from being a foolish, aggressive person to a caring, well-mannered person and giving him the opportunity to learn about the aristocratic world and the art of abstract painting. To Dries, who put the smile on the cold face of Philippe, I learned him how to enjoy his life as setting him up with his girlfriend who he was texting for six months. It's one of the most beautifully developed friendship I have seen combined with the wonderful direction and the great set of background music. Excusez-moi, je reviens là-dessus parce que ça m'intrigue, le truc des oreilles, vous kiffez vraiment, ça veut dire par exemple, si vous avez les oreilles rouges, ça veut dire que vous êtes excité. Voilà, c'est ça. <rire> Et curieusement, le matin, des fois, je me réveille, je les oreilles un peu dures. <rire> <laughs> the movie talked about modernity as the way of enjoyment in this century, like pop, rock, and hip-hop music, and mocked the classic form of music and art in order to be appealing for the younger generation, in a satirical comic form. The only point I didn't like is the usage of smoking as a way of enjoyment and rebel against the world, even if it was part of the real story because smoking is it something you should really be proud of. I really liked how the movie addressed the problems of paralyzed people and was a torch of hope for them and generally anyone who feels depressed of their situation. The movie teaches us to enjoy our life and to always look at the bright side. It teaches us to accept our life and to endure our hardships through showing us how bad our life could have been. Résultat, cervical 3 et 4 brisés. J'ai plus que ma tête pour m'élever. Quand la douleur me laisse tranquille, bah, il me reste l'esprit. Mon vrai handicap, c'est pas d'être en fauteuil. I believe that Hollywood made a remake of this movie called The Upside, starring Brian Cranston and Kevin Hart. But I haven't watched that movie yet. If you have, tell me your opinion about it and do you suggest me to watch it too. And finally, The Untouchables was a delightful film to watch. It made me laugh, it made me cry, but I still think it had some opportunities to be better. Anyway, my final rating for the movie is 8 out of 10. Tell me in the comments what do you think about the movie and your rating for it. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.